This is the Scoop for Tuesday. I'm Megan Bowman with the WMNF News Headlines. Attorney General Ashley Moody's office says victims from state-run schools who suffered abuse can start applying next week for their share of $20 million in compensation. The program is designed to provide reparations for the brutality that children and adolescents endured at the notorious Arthur G. Dozier School for Boys in Mariana and the Okeechobee School in South Florida. The program will compensate people who were at the reform schools between 1940 and in 1975 and who were subjected to mental, physical, or sexual abuse perpetrated by school personnel. Lawmakers this year passed a measure to create the compensation program with Moody's office responsible for the application process. And those applications will be available to download starting September 23rd. People have until the end of this year to apply. The Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression released its annual survey on free speech on college campuses. As WMNF's Julia Saad tells us, this year they had a new focus. Fire had to send an additional survey targeting 30 schools with major encampments protesting the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Chief Research Advisor Sean Stevens says protests about the conflict were usually seen in Ivy Leagues, but now it's spread nationwide. This year it was 55% nationally and on a number of campuses it was over 75% of students saying this is a topic that I find very difficult to discuss. Yeah, so it kind of really blew up. Stephen says about 20% of students have little knowledge of their protest and speech rights on campus. Multiple students at Florida schools have been expelled or arrested for protesting. Julia Saad, WMNF News. You can find more details on that survey at our website WMNF.org. The Pinellas nonprofit working to conserve the West Klosterman Preserve is one step closer. The Tampa Bay Times reports the WK Preservation Group missed the original deadline over the weekend to procure enough funding to buy 14 acres of untouched land. However, the group worked with county officials to extend the deadline until December 10th. The nonprofit's director, Tex Carter, said the group only has about $250,000 more to raise. A Florida sheriff fed up with a spate of false school shooting threats is taking a new tactic to try to get through to students and their parents. He's posting the mugshot of any offender on social media. There has been a wave of school shooting hoaxes recently, including in the wake of the deadly attack at Appalachie High School in Georgia. Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood is warning parents that if their kids are arrested for making these threats, he'll make sure the public knows it. From late spring to early fall, mosquito season is in full buzz. WMNF's Justin Cicheron reports a fish giveaway made a splash with Hillsborough County residents on Saturday. The Mosquito Management Service gave out over 5,000 Gambusia hobrecki, more commonly known as the eastern mosquito fish. Environmental scientist Paolo Pecora says the fish themselves are not invasive. He says there are 27 native species found in Hillsborough. There's a lot more different types of biodiversity found throughout the state, but more or less this fish is utilized around the world as biological control agents. So we don't have an endangered or threatened species found in our watershed or in our tributaries here in Hillsborough County. The mosquito fish is a part of the county's goals to take back neighborhoods for more than 40 species of mosquitoes. The service says they want to minimize or prevent mosquito bites. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says bites can lead to diseases like dengue fever, West Nile virus, and malaria in humans. Justin C. Tron, WMNF News. Today is National Voter Registration Day. First observed in 2012, the day helps to ensure eligible voters register in their districts each year. The last day to register to vote for this November's election in Florida is Monday, October 7th. You can visit WMNF.org to find more information about candidates running in your area or how to register. The National Weather Service says to expect some isolated showers and thunderstorms after 1 o'clock today. And tonight will be mostly clear. Your highs around 92 and your overnight low is near 76. It's 75 degrees in Tampa. I'm Megan Bowman with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.